Assalamu alaikum beautiful people today we will discuss about anatomy and physiology the digestive system what is the digestive system it is also known as gastrointestinal system it is responsible for the physical and chemical breakdown of food breakdown is necessary so food can be taken into blood stream and used by body cells and tissues okay System consists of alimentary canal and accessory organs. Alimentary canal extends from mouth to anus. Food breakdown. Food breakdown completes in these steps. Which steps? Ingestion. Taking of food into the body. Peristalsis. Physical movement along the tract. Digestion. Mechanical and chemical breakdown of food absorption, passage of food from digestive tract into the body. The food is absorbed. Actually, the passage is alimentary canal. Defecation, elimination of undigestible substances from the body. Alimentary canal is a long muscular tube that begins from the mouth includes pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Accessory organs or accessory glands are salivary glands, tongue, teeth, liver, gallbladder and pancreas. Parts of the alimentary canal, the mouth known as buccal cavity receives food and is used for testing, breaking down physically by teeth, lubricating and partially digesting food by saliva and swallowing. Parts of the alimentary canal. The teeth are special structures in mouth that physically break down food by chewing and grinding. The process is called mastication. The chewing and grinding of food is known as mastication. The tongue is a muscular organ that contains special receptors called the taste buds. Taste buds allow a person to taste sweet, salt, sour, or bitter sensations. The tongue also aids in chewing and swallowing. Parts of the alimentary canal, the hard palate and the soft palate. Okay. The purpose of the hard palate is it's a bony structure that forms the roof of the mouth and separates the mouth from the nasal cavity. Behind the hard palate is the soft palate which separates the mouth from the nasopharynx. The ovula. Ovula, a cone shaped muscular structure, hangs from the middle of the soft palate and prevents food from entering the nasopharynx during the swallowing process. Clear? Here we come with the parts of alimentary canal. Parotid glands, sublingual glands and submandibular glands. Cheek and jaw are parotid beneath tongue. Sublingual glands are present and submandibular are present in the chin or neck. They produce liquid called the saliva. Saliva lubricates mouth during speech and chewing and moistens food so it can be swallowed easily. It contains a salivary amylase enzyme. Slivery uh, amylase begins chemical breakdown of complex carbohydrates or starches into sugars that can be taken into the body. Parts of the alimentary canal after food is treated and mixed with saliva, it is called a bolus. When bolus is swallowed, it enters the pharynx. Pharynx is a tube that carries both air and food. Esophagus, okay. When a bolus is being swallowed, muscle action causes epiglottis to close over larynx. Parts of the alimentary canal. The esophagus is the muscular tube dorsal to the trachea. It receives bolus from the pharynx and carries it to stomach. Esophagus and the remaining part of the alimentary canal will lie or rhythmic wavelength. Involuntary movement of its muscles called peristalsis, it moves food in forward direction. Parts of the alimentary canal part the stomach and large part mucous membrane lining stomach contains foods called 
Ragged or Rogi folds disappear as stomach fills with food. Two sphincter uses its cardiac sphincter and pyloric sphincter. Cardiac sphincter circular muscle between esophagus and stomach closes after food enters stomach and prevents food from going back into esophagus. Pyloric sphincter Circular muscle between stomach and small intestine keep food in stomach until food is ready to enter. Intestine food usually remains in stomach approximately 1 to 4 hours. Clear? Um, uh, during the food uh, time in stomach, it is converted into semi flood material called the chyme. Chyme is from gastric juices produced by glands in stomach mixed with bolus. Gastric juices contain HCL and pepsinogen that when uh, food is in contact, it converts into its active form pepsin and digest proteins. When a food in form of chyme leaves stomach, it enters into small intestine. It is a coiled section of elementary canal approximately 20 feet in length and 1 inch in diameter. Three sections, duodenum, duodenum and ileum. Duodenum is the first uh, 9 to 10 inches of the small intestine. Bile from the gallbladder and liver and pancreatic juice from pancreas enter into this section through ducts or tubes. The jejunum is approximately 8 feet in length and forms middle section the ileum is the final 12 feet of the small intestine and connects with the large intestine at the cecum the process of digestion is completed with uh, while food is in small intestine products of digestion are absorbed into blood stream for use by body cells Intestinal juices produced by small intestine contain enzyme maltase, sucrase, and lactase, which break down sugars into simple forms. Okay. Okay. Intestinal juices contain enzymes known as peptidase, which complete the digestion of proteins. They contain stepsin, which aids in the digestion of fat. Bile from liver and gallbladder emulsifies fats. Enzymes from pancreas like amylase and lipase also add in the breakdown. After the food is digested, it is absorbed into the bloodstream. Walls of the small intestine are lined with a finger like projection called the villi. The villi contains blood capillaries and lactates. Capillaries absorb digestive nutrients and carry them to liver where they are either stored or released into the circulation for use by body cells. Clear. Lacteals absorb most of the digested fats and carry them to thoracic duct in the emphatic system, which releases them into circulation. When food is completed, it's passed through small intestine. Only waste, indigestible materials, and excess water remains. The large intestine is the final section of the alimentary canal. It is approximately 5 feet in length and 2 and a half inches in diameter. Absorption of water and any remaining nutrients occur. Storage of indigestible materials before eliminated occur. Synthesis and absorption of some B complex vitamins and vitamin K of bacteria present. Transportation of waste products out of the body. Large intestine is divided into second column and rectum. Uh, cecum is the first section. Okay, uh, colon with sphere, several region, uh, dis, divisions ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and sigmoid colon. The rectum is the final 6 to 8 inches of the large intestine and is a storage area of indigestible and waste. It is a narrow canal called the anal canal, which opens at a hole called the anus and through which the waste leaves the body. <coughs> The liver, accessory organ. Largest gland in the body located on the diaphragm. A secreted bile used to emulsify fats and mix fat water. 
soluble necessary for absorption stores sugar in the form of glycogen then this glycogen is converted into glucose for utilization it stores iron in certain vitamins produces a parent which prevents the clotting of blood produces proteins such as fibrinogen and prothrombin produces cholesterol detoxifies substances uh, such as alcohol and pesticides and destroys bacteria taken into the blood from intestine the gall bladder small muscular sac located in the liver and attached to it by connective tissue stores and concentrates bile receives from liver where bile is needed to emulsify fats in digestion tract or digestive tract the gall bladder contracts and pushes bile through the common bile duct into the duodenum the pancreas a glandular organ located uh, behind the stomach produces pancreatic juices containing enzymes to digest food juices enter duodenum through pancreatic duct enzyme in uh, juices break down sugars proteins and fats it produces insulin that is secreted into blood stream and for the uh, level of glucose maintenance it is very important appendicitis or uh, diseases or abnormal condition mein aa jati hai ji acute inflammation of uh, appendix usually resulting from obstruction and infection symptoms generalized abdominal pain later localized at uh, uh, pains nausea vomiting mild fever elevated white blood count treatment appendectomy that is surgical removal of appendix if appendix ruptures infectious material will spill into peritoneal cavity causing peritonitis a serious condition clear okay cholecystitis inflammation of the gall bladder when gall stone form from crystallized cholesterol by certain bile pigments the condition is known as cholelithiasis symptoms indigestion nausea vomiting uh, pain that starts under the rib cage and radiates to the right shoulder low fat diet is the treatment trypsy uh cholecystectomy that is surgical removal of gall bladder if gall stone blocks bile duct gall bladder can rupture and cause peritonitis okay cirrhosis a uh, chronic destruction of liver cells accompanied by formation of fibrous connective and scar tissues causes include hepatitis bile duct diseases chemical toxins and malnutrition associated with the uh, alcoholism symptoms vary and uh, become more severe as disease progress include hepatomegaly enlarged liver anemia indigestion nausea vomiting etc okay uh treatment direct towards the preventing further damage to liver alcohol avoidance proper nutrition etc constipation when fecal material remains in colon too long causing excessive reabsorption of water feces or stool become hard dry and difficult to eliminate uh causes are poor bowel habits uh, chronic laxative use leading to a lazy bowel diet low in fiber and certain digestive diseases treatment are usually corrected by a high fiber diet adequate fluids exercises although laxatives are sometimes used to stimulate defecation okay diarrhea condition characterized by frequent watery stools can be extremely dangerous in infants and children because of the excessive fluid loss infection stress diet irritated colon toxic substances direct towards eliminating causes provide adequate fluid intake and modifying diet diverticulitis inflammation of the diverticular pouches or sacs that forms in the intestine as the mucosal lining pushes through the surrounding of the muscle fecal matter and bacteria become entrapped in the diverticula can result in abscess or rupture leading to peritonitis peritonitis symptoms abdominal pain irregular bowel movements flutters constipation or diarrhea abdominal distension treatment antibiotics stools opening medicines and pains etc gastroenteritis inflammation of the mucous membrane that lines the stomach and intestinal tract 
causes may be food poisoning infection and toxin symptoms abdominal cramping nausea vomiting fever and diarrhea treatment usual methods are rest and increased fluid intake severe cases antibiotics uh, for fluids and medications to slow peristalsis may be used hemorrhoids a painful dilated or a varicose veins of the rectum and or anus causes include straining to defecate constipation pressure during pregnancy insufficient fluid intake laxative abuse and prolonged sitting or standing Symptoms include pain, itching and bleeding, treatment, high fiber diet, increased food intake, stool softener, sits, baths or warm, moist compresses and in some cases a hemorrhoidectomy. Okay, hepatitis, a viral inflammation of the liver, type A, HIV or infection, hepatitis, highly contagious, transmitted in food or water. Type B, HBV or serum hepatitis, transmitted by blood or serum, more serious than HIV and can lead to chronic hepatitis or cirrhosis of the liver. Other strains of hepatitis virus identified include type C, D and E. Symptoms of hepatitis include fever, anorexia, lack of appetite, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, diet, uh, dark color urine, clay colored stool in large liver and jaundice treatment methods include rest and diet high in protein a liver transplant may be necessary if the liver is severely damaged hernia or rupture occurs when an internal organ pushes through a weakened area or a natural opening in a body wall a hiatal hernia when the stomach protrudes through the diaphragm and into the chest cavity through the opening for the Esophagus inguinal hernia when a section of the small intestine protrudes through the inguinal rings of the lower abdominal wall. Symptoms include heartburn, stomach distensions, chest pain and difficult swallowing, a blunt uh, diet, a small frequent meals, uh, staying upright after eating and surgical repair. If hernia cannot be reduced, a hernia refi is Pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas, pancreatic enzyme begin to digest pancreas itself, become necrotic, inflamed and edematous. Causes may be used by excessive alcohol consumption or blockage of pancreatic drugs by gallstone. Uh, symptoms include severe abdominal pain that radiates to back, nausea, vomiting, diaphoresis. Treatment depends on cause, cystic. Tectomy is performed if gallstones are causes peritonitis, inflammation of the abdominal peritoneal cavity usually occurs when a rupture in the intestine allows the intestine contents to enter the peritoneal cavity. Symptoms include abdominal pain and distension, fever, nausea and vomiting. Treatment include antibiotics, surgical repair of damaged intestine, ulcer. An upper zone on the lining of the digestive tract causes uh, bacterium helicobacteria include symptoms are burning pain, indigestion, hematemesis and melena, ulcerative colitis, severe inflammation of colon, uh, many symptoms is diarrhea contain blood, pulse and mucus, periods of remission and exacerbation are common. Uh, weakness, abdominal pain, anemia, and anorexia treatment directed towards controlling inflammation, reducing stress, maintaining proper nutrition, and avoiding substances that aggravate condition. Artificial open in colon allow fecal material to be excreted through abdomen. Stay motivated for next videos. Allah Hafiz. Hope you enjoyed the content.